Hi folks, Will Stone with Rugged Mountain Custom RV here in Caldwell, Idaho, and with the very long-awaited, we thank you guys for your patience, Granite 9RL Rear Lounge. Let's show it to you. Ryko Titan Jacks, we all know about those. We're doing our standard bracket assembly on both the fronts and the backs where we've got two number two Doug Fur studs through bolted in addition to the grommeted lag screws. So two through bolts, two through bolts on both of the fronts, two through bolts on the back again through the sandwich Doug Fur number two studs. Right here, here at Rugged Mountain, we don't want to put any holes that are unnecessary up on the roof. So this is our satellite cable hookup. Here's our fresh tank fill and tank sizes are 36 fresh, 38 gray, and 24 black. City water connection. We have a DSI six gallon quick recovery water heater that should recover at about 17.2 gallons per hour. Furnace exterior uh, exhaust. We went with the Marinco detachable power cord, 30 feet. So we're not we're not downsizing or making them short like a lot of these guys out in the RV industry. Um, back end brackets. Right under here, we can see the uh, exhaust pipe. We put a baloney cut on it to kind of make it kind of just add a little bit of flair to it. Underneath, all three tanks fully insulated. And on the back side of the diamond plate, we've got foam backing. We're not just doing fiberglass insulation and, and fiberglass anymore. So we put the aluminum diamond plate up there just to give it a little bit of added protection back and in and out, touching the wheel wells and all that kind of thing. Around this side, back of our refrigerator, LP tanks. These are two five gallon side lay and they've also got the uh, gauges on both tanks to tell you where you are as far as LP. So we feel that that really helps us out. Inch thick storage doors everywhere around this coach. Courtesy light above the shower. And this has the retractable cord, hot and cold, and then a Navy style shut off switch. So you can get your desired temperature and just shut it off. When you turn it back on, it'll go right back to that temp. We went with bigger battery storage, so we've got two battery, uh, a dual battery tray. We can pull the tray out, and actually we've got plenty of room to do six bolts if we want to do that. Now this one happens to be equipped with the ZAMP 170 watt solar panel. So we've really got a good system going in this one right here. Right up above, you'll see the 80% uh, tent windows. These are all dual panes in this, in the granites that we're building right now, but it is still an option for the customer and the dealership to decide how they want to order them. This is the back side of the Furion uh, range hood, and we'll check that out when we go inside. We've got LED lights everywhere on this coach. You can see we've got the Carefree Colorado awning out. That's all just push button stuff. It is a smart awning, so if it starts to collect too much water, it will just collapse and then go right back up so it doesn't end up tearing it out of the side of any RVs. We really like Carefree Colorado. So, uh, like I say, LED lights, running lights, uh, turn signals, brake markers, uh, turn indicators. This is where the storage starts, and this is something that we're really, we're, we're getting famous for. So this is our pull-out drawer storage. We made this in-house. Right next door, full four seasons. So this is our, this is our uh, tank drain. There's the, that's the uh, termination pipe. You can see both the gray and the black the Valterra knife, cover, uh, knife blade. And in bumper storage. So in addition to having the 170 watt solar panel, if the customer chooses to go with six volts, we've also got the Cummins Onan 2500 uh, LP Gen. So this one's set and ready to go. We'll jump inside. So once again, in the Granite series, we built the 11RL and the 9RL. The only difference is right here in the midship, we're just two feet shorter on the nine, which turns us from a dry bath in the 11 to a wet bath in the night. But as you guys remember, the story on the granite, and there's going to be a lot more coming out about that here very soon. Uh, going to be a big release on the 26th, which is tomorrow, and we're all very, very excited about it. Um, this was a challenge from Truck Camper Magazine's Gordon and Angela White to build a truck camper 
non-slide unit with a residential interior. So that's what we've gone about doing. You'll see the beadboard walls, um, real tile backsplash all the way through. This is no stick on stuff. This is real tile. Solid surface countertop, farm style apron sink. Stain, and this has a stainless steel package, so we've gone with the stainless steel microwave. Tons of storage in this guy. You see European hidden hinges. We use the metal struts, no plastic. And I've even seen some of these guys that aren't even putting any struts in these things, which makes it kind of crazy. So we always want to be able to access our storage, put whatever we want in there without having to hold the door open. We just, we just believe in going all the way here at Rugged Mountain. So we went with, we've got the solid surface table, which is the same as the countertop, so it matches. We went with an old school style lay down to build the booth dinette. And the reason we did that, guys, is because we've seen the dream, dream dinette system where there's just a little lever under here and that makes it collapse down. But we just, after a bunch of R&D, we just find that that lever always comes undone if people don't just treat it really, really well. So we wanted to go old school with it and, and make sure that it's going to work for generations down the road. Um, here we've got our furnace. So we've got ducted heat blown down into the basement as well as, as the coach. This is our converter box, breaker panel, and fuse panel. Let's start looking at storage. So right here underneath the booth seat, we put a door, another drawer. These are all full pull drawers. You don't have to sand them yourself. You're not going to get a splinter because we take care of that here at the factory. Under kitchen storage. And then we've got the same three drawers on the opposite side. And then move up in here just a little bit further. Nice pot and pan storage down below. Uh, access to LP fittings and all that kind of stuff. Wiring. Here's the five cubic foot refrigerator freezer. We've got a 10,000 BTU air conditioner on this guy. Um, we did our research on this thing. It's, it's a high output and it's the Penguin 2 low profile. We really like that one a lot. We got the fantastic fan. So we're bi-directional and three variable speeds here. Folks who don't know what this is, that thing will hump some air out of here. So we've got four speakers in the, in the coach, AM, FM, CD, DVD player. switch your sides here and we'll let Christine show you the front. So lots of storage. We've got the hampers on both sides. Short words up front. TV location up front as well in the bedroom. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a TV location on the exterior of this guy as well. So in the 9RL we go to a wet bath. And then we've got the 12 volt fan up top. Okay, we'll do one more thing. Let me trade you places again and we'll point out the stuff on this wall. This is our monitor panel area so we can run. This is our um, uh, furnace and AC. Uh, this is our hour meter, start, stop, prime switch for the generator. Monitor panel, which will tell us battery condition, fresh tank, gray tank, and black tank. This is the control panel for our solar panel up on the roof, the 170, um, and that about closes it up. So we really appreciate your folks' patience, and, and we apologize that it took us so long to get this thing out to you. I know everybody's seen the 11 RL, and everybody was just wondering, hey, we want a short box version of it too. So that's what we've got with the 9 RL, uh, is a true short box version. Um, look for more updated information on our website and our YouTube channel. We'll probably shoot another couple of videos on these guys to give you color combos and all that kind of thing and then let you know the dealers that uh, are out there that you guys can go see them. So we appreciate your patience. Thank you guys for tuning in.